Hey, TGIFers. This is Travis. Um, if you've been listening to the podcast, you guys into Fridays, our podcast, obviously, the last couple of weeks, then you heard talk of me purchasing a bunch of Sabrina the Teenage Witch trading card packs online. Uh, Steve has made me promise that I'll open them for you on a video, so I'm going to do that now. Um, this might be the most boring video I've ever watched, but hopefully it will be cool. We'll get something fun to look at. Um, I guess first I should say, if you don't listen to the podcast and somehow you found this, go check us out. We're on all your podcast uh, apps. So two guys into Fridays, you can search. We're pretty easy to find. Um, if you do listen to us, thanks. And remember, you can find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Obviously, you're here. Uh, and it's just TGIFcast. You can find us. Email us, TGIFcast at gmail.com. So what I did was I bought uh, an auction on eBay or whatever on eBay of 20 blister packs of Sabrina the Teenage Witch trading cards and this awesome limited edition Sabrina the Teenage Witch collectible card binder. Um, all 20 packs came in these kind of like cardboard backed blister pack type things, but for the sake of time on this video, I, I took out all of them except for one. I want you guys to see what it looked like. But uh, we opened one on the show if you were listening a couple weeks ago, but here's the remaining 18 packs that we're going to open. So um, maybe we'll get a full set. I don't know. But I wanted to read to you kind of what the situation is, is here. There's 72 cards in the set. Each pack has six cards. Um, the There are six chase cards, and those are like prism cards. I looked them up. So there's a 1 in 18 chance of getting a, a chase card. So fingers crossed, we might get one of those. Um, there are also autograph cards. I think that there are six autograph cards as well. Uh, yep, six autograph cards. The odds of those, though, one in 360 packs. So probably not going to happen today, but that'd be awesome for the video, right? Um, other cool things, if you bought a box of these, the, like the loose packs for like the hobby boxes, they came with like little beanie baby type bears. One was like a cat bear and one was a witch bear, so that would have been cool. I might pick those up closer to the show. Um, and then they also did printing plates. There were 576 printing plates. And I don't, if you don't know what those are, those are the actual like plates they use to press the colors on the cards. I don't know if it's three or four per card, but, um, there was 576 total of those made. You actually had to mail away to order those. And those were $24.95 a piece if you, um, purchased one at the time that these came out. And then there was a, uh, the collector's album you had to send away for too. That was, that was $19.95. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start opening these, and we will we will see what we get. Maybe, hopefully, we'll get a full set. Hopefully, we'll get an insert, but hopefully, hopefully, we'll get an autograph card. Um, so let's go ahead and open this first one. It is the one that's still on cardboard. I'm just going to make a pile of trash next to me as we do this. So let's see if we're starting with anything good. Oh, oh, so... We've got, uh, I don't know, I've ne by the way, I've never watched Sabrina Teenage Witch. This is not in the TGIF shows that I am familiar with. So I don't know what any of these cards mean or what these stories are. All I know is that Melissa Joan Hart was a teenage witch, and I think she lived with her aunts, maybe, and had a talking cat. So, uh, yeah, so here's some cards we got. We got one of these. I'm going to make just piles over the side here. Hopefully we can put these together fairly easily and um, see if we get a full set at the end. But, ah, sorry, I'm making a mess. Let me, ah, let me clean this up. All right. Cool. So just going to show you what I got here. Like I said, I don't know what any of this means. Here's a good one of just Sabrina. Uh, here's one of Penn and Teller. I, I think they have kind of reoccurring roles on the show from my understanding. Um, looks like they were part of the Witches Council. So uh, so yeah, that's cool. Penn and Teller. I like Penn and Teller. Um, and then here is another one. And this is cool. We got the number one card already out of the first pack. So the Sabrina the Teenage Witch kind of kickoff card. So that's fun. So let's dig into these packs and see what we're looking at here. So we got one of these. This is Sabrina's dad. Uh, first kiss. Oh, here's, here's Salem with some pancakes. That's fun. Um, here's them at school. And I don't know if these are like named after episodes. Like this one says... Geeks are people too. I'm not sure if that's an episode name or if that's just kind of a name for the card. And these cards were made by a company called Dart. I don't really know much about them. Um, but that is the company that made these trading cards. Uh, Aunt Hilda. So that's another low one. That's number five. Uh, all right. 
Let's see here. We've got, is that, who is that? Sabrina's Dilemma. I don't know who that is. It kind of, I don't know. I don't know who that actor is, but I'm sure we'll find out as we get there. Um, let's see. Here's a black and white one of Sabrina. It's called Witch Camp. Here's another one of Salem. That is the like Salem introduction card for the set. So that's cool. We got that one. Uh, this one says Small Problem. Uh, and I'm trying to put these kind of in some semblance of order as I go to make it easier to put the set together at the end. Here's one. Cat's Meow. Uh, where's my 20s? There we go. And here is somebody in like a a stock, like a witch, witch trial. Um, all right, next pack. So, and if you remember the pack I opened on the show, nothing special on that one. Just a bunch of more regular cards. Here's a cool one of Sabrina jamming out, band show. Um, let's see. Here is this one. And then we've got here's Sabrina and her aunt's dressed like. Like hippies. Uh, where's those? Oh, it's a new pile. Okay. Uh, Sabrina and Salem. Here's them in some bushes. And here's one of Sabrina with some big, big hips. Um, so, yeah, so there are 72 cards in this set. We've got 20 packs of six, so we'll have 120 cards. I, guess, I think the odds are in our favor that we will um, that we'll have the whole set. It's really trying to get some of those special cards. It's going to be cool. So here's this one of Sabrina. Here are the aunts. They look like they're in some kind of cage that says Tangled Spell. Um, here's another like witch trial looking one. And I don't know. I don't know what season these are from either. Like I said, I never really watched the show, so I don't know much about them. Let's see what year they were made. They were made in 1999, so these are definitely towards the end run of TGIF, um, which means it could, I guess they could probably be from any episode or any season because I think most of Sabrina was on TGIF, if if not all of it. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Here's another one with her and her friend. Uh, let's see. And um, hopefully we'll be getting, I, I like trading cards. It's kind of something that I like to mess around with. And my wife hates it because they just take up space and, and are not very productive to anything. But um, hopefully I'll be getting some some cool stuff in for the the laughs, the, the ones that were Perfect Strangers, Full House and Family Matters, that set. I've got a couple packs of those, but I really would love to get the full set. Um, so I'm looking to try to put that together. Won't be an opening thing like this because I'll probably get the set already open. Here's a checklist. That's cool. And it shows there's six um, six inserts, but it doesn't have them, have them titled, which is pretty interesting, I feel like. You would think that they would want to title them on the on the uh, checklist. I think these are both duplicates. We've already got both of these. 58, and this is 67. Let's take a look here. Um, yep, definitely got one of these. Yeah, these are, we're starting to see some some redundancy here. Here's Salem again. This is the, the introduction Salem card. Definitely seen this one. Definitely seen this one. Oh yeah, these are getting repetitive. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to put together a set. I'm not, I'm not sure what that's gonna look like, but here's hoping. So let's see. Here's another checklist. Uh, let's. See. 41, there's number two, that's good. I don't think we've got that one yet. Let's see what that is. That's uh, Sabrina Spellman. So this is like the introduction card for Sabrina for the set. Sorry, my camera is having a tough time focusing in on the on the cards. Uh, here's another one. I, don't, I think that might be a new one. Um, yeah, this pack looks like it's mostly ones that I haven't seen before. Uh, you guys are probably paying better attention than I am. Uh, or not, who knows. Here's another one with some dudes back in the 60s. So, I don't know if you all collected any kind of trading cards when you were kids or now or anything like that, but if you did, just go and comment and just let us know what you collected. If you remember these cards, if you had any of these cards. Here's a new one, I think. Um, 
like I said, this was not Sabrina wasn't really my thing when I was when I was growing up. I, that wasn't the TGF that I knew best. So these are it's all new to me. But um, you know, I was big. I liked Marvel trading cards a lot. I had a lot of those when I was a kid. Um, I had a lot of I had a lot of baseball cards. I think everybody, had, all you know, a lot of people my age had baseball cards. Here's another one. This is a new one. Um, here's one with her and some friends. I think I had a lot of Pokemon cards too. I still have a lot of Pokemon cards around the house somewhere. I know Steve has a lot of Pokemon cards somewhere too. Um, just sitting there doing nothing. At least mine are. Uh, here is some more. Let's see. I think some of these are going to be new. Shirt school in the cafeteria. Here is like a Christmas episode looking one. That's pretty cool. I love the seasonal episodes. I don't know if y'all remember, but each show kind of had their own seasonal episode. I know um, Family Matters had always did like a Thanksgiving episode and every, I think the Boy Meets World Halloween episodes were all were pretty well known and pretty famous. Um, so that'd be fun. Maybe maybe Sabrina will do a lot of Christmas episodes. You'd think they would do some Halloween episodes too. Here's one of Harvey Kinkle. He looks like he's a main character. So there's that. Um, yeah, so hopefully they'll do some Christmas episodes. But like I said, I think I I'd imagine they'd do some Halloween ones too. Who knows? And there were some crossovers. I think there was a week when Salem went to like all the other different TGIF shows. So that'd be fun to look forward to. Crossovers are always fun. Here's another Sabrina. This is number one card. Um, I know there was a week of Urkel crossovers. I know. So those are always going to be fun when we get to them. Uh, let's see. Here's what works. And number 68, Sabrina Awards. Oh, sorry. There you go. I don't know who this guy is. I guess he's maybe an uncle or a friend of one of the aunts. I'm not sure. We'll find out though. And we have some other videos on the channel too. If you guys are just coming, if you're just finding the channel because of this, which cool, I don't know how that works, but good for you. Uh, we do have some other videos on here. We've got our interview with um, Scott Winger from Fam or Full House. Excuse me. He was he was Steve, uh, DJ's now husband. Um, we've got our interview with Karen Bankhead and Yvonne Phyllis Stickney um, from uh, New Attitude. That's pretty cool. That was like a little mini reunion that we did with them. Uh, and then we got our big video, which is our cast reunion from just the 10 of us. It was it was uh, 12 people from the cast, 12 of the cast, me cast members and, and writers and creators. And that was super cool. And they were awesome for doing that. Um, so check them out. They're up there. All you gotta do is just like click the button next to this one probably and you'll find them. Um, and make sure you subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends, like our videos. Leave the comments, reviews. We look at, we see all the, we see all the comments that people leave. Um, we really appreciate it. We like it when people interact, it's fun. So this is number 10, that's fun. What is this? Oh, just then it's cool though. Here's Sabrina dressed like a princess. That's pretty cool. Here's her holding a big magic book. What's it say? Birthday surprise. I don't know. We'll find out what that means. Here's her with a guitar. Here's her with in one of those like stick your face in, take a picture, and it's a witch one. So that's funny because she's a witch and she's pretending to be a witch. It's a good time. Um, and then here's some like medieval Renaissancey looking garb. Um, so yeah, I think they brought Sabrina back. For Netflix, it was the uh, the oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was definitely darker, from my understanding. And people really liked it. I didn't watch it, um, but I heard it was really good. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of it. It's got some. It's got a different name, um, but it is like a modern take on Sabrina. And then I think there was a cartoon as well that was out a, while, a long time ago, back in like the '90s when this when the show was on. Um, but I, again, I, ne I never watched it. Uh, let's see. Six. So, Steve's going to watch this video and say, man, you spent all that time just showing people trading cards. And that's what opening packs is about, right? Um, let's see here. I've been looking online to see if I can find any of the, of the, uh, any of the printing plates. I thought it'd be cool to have some of those. They're they're tough to find, like for sale. I wonder if, if this company Dart has just like 
a drawer full of them somewhere that people never sent in to to purchase. I wonder if there's a way to get in touch with these people if they're still if they're still in business. Say, hey, let me get all those printing plates. I'll buy them off you for for a steal. They'd probably be glad to get rid of them. I've seen a couple online, and they seem to all come with like. Uh, they all seem to be packaged really nicely. It looks like they come with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, ah, excuse me, a certificate of authenticity, uh, and then like a copy of the card that they were used to make. So you get the printing plate, um, the certificate, and the trading card. And all the ones that I've seen online are all it's the number one card again. Are all like really well framed. They all look the same. So I imagine when you bought it, it they all came kind of in these framed three piece little. Um, Little displays, which that would have been fun. That would have been nice, nice little piece, especially if you're a big Sabrina fan. I don't know uh, if there's any other cool like Sabrina stuff that you could buy as a fan, but it seems pretty fun. Um, man, I'm, I'm disappointed we don't have any any um, any inserts yet. Any of these like any of these shiny cards, but maybe maybe it'll work out where we open one in the last pack and we can really we can really celebrate, uh, or maybe we'll get an autograph card. Who knows? Who knows? I'm wearing my my perfect stranger shirt today too. I put this on just for just for this video, so that you all wouldn't have to look at some dumb T-shirt. Uh, let's see. Here is this one. Here's another one of Salem. We've seen this one a few times. Where's my forties? Another one of Harvey, and then and then another one of her rocking out. So we got two packs left. Two packs left. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Um, nope, not yet. At least not right now. Let's see. These do look different though. I don't recognize these cards so much. Turn the aunts. Aunt Zelda Spellman. Here's this one with her buddy. This guy seems to be in a lot of cards. I guess he's in a lot of episodes. That's Coolio. That one's called Coolio Clue. That's pretty cool. Coolio's on an episode. And here's one that looks like a whole ton of candy corn. Yep, candy corn river. You know, I don't understand how candy corn got such a bad rap. I love candy corn, and nowadays it's cool to hate candy corn. Which makes no sense to me because candy corn is delicious. It's just sugar. It's just like pure sugar. Eat candy corn. Here is Sabrina doing science. Here's this one. We've seen this one with them in the cage. Um, here we go. Here is the witch trial one. Um, and here is, we've seen this one a few times. I don't know, what's, what's going on in this one? It's like a whole bunch of blue, is it candy? Oh, she's in a brain. That's crazy. So she's inside of Libby, Libby's brain. That's the inside of her brain, according to the world Sabrina. Um, here's one, I think she's wearing a Smashing Pumpkins t-shirt in this one. Pretty sure that is that zero is a Smashing Pumpkins t-shirt. And then this is the last one. Oh man, so no, no inserts, no autographs. Sad day. Um, I did though order these as well. So there was, I can't tell if it's five or six promo cards because one of the promo cards is listed as like a dealer sell sheet. So I don't know if that's just saying that there's a dealer sell sheet out there. But I found a really cheap thing online and to purchase some of the, um, the promo card. So I went and got that. So I'll show you what we what these look like um, as well. So they're pretty. They're they look pretty similar. They just have kind of like little, like you know, images added to it to show where it's from. This was a cool little card that the person I bought it from added in. Say thank you for buying. It's got little bunnies and masks. It's pretty cute. Uh, so that's cool. But yeah. So here's what we got. So this is a promo card from. The Atlanta, I don't know, it's some Atlanta collector, it's hard to read, you, it's, I don't know if you all, you all will be able to see it, but that's, I don't know if it's going to get zoomed in, yeah, so that's the logo right there. So some kind of Atlanta sports collectible, oh, okay, Atlanta sports collectible convention. So that's the promo card from that, um, and that, that pairs up, you know, with the number one card, so it's the same, it's just 
number one card has the Sabrina Teenage Witch logo. This doesn't. Um, it's got that Atlanta one on the back. So this one is from the October 1999 Philly non-sport show. So same card that's in the set, and then, but it's got this printed on the back. Oh, let's see if it'll, I don't know if my, it'll zoom in because it's all text or if it'll focus. Yep, see in the corner up there? There you go. Same card. This one, though, is just labeled P2, so promo card 2. So let's see if it'll zoom in. Let's see if it'll focus. Come on, camera. I know you don't want to focus on the card. You want to focus on me, but don't. There we go. P2. See it? There you go. This is a different card. So there isn't one of these cards in the set. So this is promo card one. So this is a different card. And then we'll look at the back. And all these cards, I probably should have shown you, they have kind of just some text on the back to tell you what the card's about, like most trading cards do. Um, this one is like a promo card for the, actually all these, the text on it just talks about the card set. Uh, this is a series featuring 72 cards, six chase cards, and redemption coupons for one-of-a-kind printing plate cards, uh, which isn't true. They, they, changed, they must have changed that. I guess the original intention was to have the redemption coupons in there, but now they changed it to where you had to order to buy it. Um, yep, and each, each box will have either Sabrina, Bean Bear, or Salem Bean Cat. So we'll see about those later. And then there's this one. I don't know if this is actually part of the same set or not. It doesn't look like it because it looks like it's made by a different company. But it's a promo card for, I guess, a animated series set um, that came out. I tried to find to see if this animated series set, uh, like, any information about it, but I can't find it. So I'm almost wondering if it if it never came out, if they just intended for it to come out, did some promos, and then never released it. So that's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get that without all the glare. Just a little picture of Sabrina. Um, and then they, they threw in this card for free. This has nothing to do with Sabrina, but it is a card for the Dick Van Dyke Show, a little promotional card um, from a set, 1993 set. I'm not sure. TV's Greatest Hits, I guess, was the set. Uh, little, you know, just a fun little sketch card they threw in as well. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to real quick go through these and see if we have a complete set. This is probably going to be even more boring than what you just watched of me opening these sets, but let's see what we can do real quick. So... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need one, five, seven, eight, nine, six, five, four, three. We need number two. Uh, I know we've got that one in here. Here we go, number two. All right, so there's the first nine. Let's see. Let's do that and stop it. Go to the second nine, so we got 19, 14, 15, 13, 11, 10, 17, there's 12, 18. Oh man, are you just kidding me? Are we gonna, are we gonna, are we going to miss this on the on this soon in 1918, 17, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10? Let me see if it's one of the ones that I opened up. I'm not optimistic, though. Let's see. All right, well, that was quick. I'm not going to make you all sit through the rest of this since I don't have card number 16. So I already missing one, but that's okay. That just makes it more fun because now I've got to chase that card down. What do I do with those other ones? That's weird. Oh, here they go. Um, so anyways, I'm not going to keep putting these together because obviously we don't have them all, but let's see what number 16 is real quick and what we're missing. Number 16 is Third Aunt from the Sun. So I'll keep an eye out for that card, see if I can finish it because I definitely want to get a complete set because otherwise this is just silly to go through all this without having a complete set. Um, but that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this. I know it's, it's my first time doing something like this, so it's probably pretty boring, but um, leave your comments below, like, subscribe, all that good, fun YouTube stuff. Um, thanks for listening to the podcast. Every Friday, it's normally up 8 a.m., 7 a.m. Um, check it out, me and Steve. We watch TGIF shows as they would have aired 30 years ago, and then we talk about them. Um, and we'd love to have you listen to the show. So if you found this without listening to the show, good for you. Don't know how you did that, but awesome. 
Uh, if you didn't, thanks for listening, and we will talk to you next week. You can catch us anywhere online, TJF Cast. Uh, have a good one.